Hey everybody, The Last Outrider here, bringing you a data slate update. Grazkol Thrakawag. We're going to start now with the fluff, because I like fluff. And then we're going to go through all of the new formations. Probably everybody's read the codex if you're an ARC player. But have you read the data slate? I'm betting no. So here we go. The first part of the fluff is called the ultimate warlord. Here we go. As the galaxy's most numerous warlike race, it has long been said that should the orcs ever unify, they would crush all of the so-called civilized peoples of the galaxy. Now, as the hour grows dark, that doomsday draws near. With every crunching step of his great metal boots, Orc warlord Grazgal Thraka strides closer to realizing that dread prediction. In the 41st millennium, and throughout all history, the brutal orcs have often been underestimated by the other powerful races of the galaxy. While all have learned to fear the destructive might of the Greenskins' migratory crusades, these are seen as temporary events. They sweep across a few systems before stalling, their tide of advance ebbing and ultimately receding so that they become little more than a footnote in the history of some other race. However, the WAG led by Grazkal Thraka is different. For this war boss is the most dangerous orc alive. His mighty green crusade is no mere planet crusher, but an invasion that will shake the foundations of the galaxy in a war for total domination. As a race, orcs are not bound by history. They neither revere the past nor record it in any manner. Greenskins are creatures that live in and for the here and now. What makes the orc, whose full name is Grazkal Mag Uruk Thraka, so dangerous is that he has vision. Not just for the present, but for the past, and most importantly, for the future. After all, he is no mere orc, but rather the living prophet of the orc gods Gork and Mork. Grazkal is their mighty instrument of destruction made manifest. When the galaxy-spanning Imperium of Mankind first encountered Grazkal, its leaders presumed he was like all other orc warlords before him. Perhaps he was larger and stronger than most, but no more than that. After several battles, they begrudgingly granted that Grazkal possessed more beast-like cunning than was exhibited by the other leaders of his savage race. But they still gave him little credence. A few, very few, of his human antagonists started to grasp the magnitude of Graskell's ambition. But only by the time of the Third Battle of Armageddon did they realize that this was an orc warlord beyond any they had previously encountered. Those opponents who have underestimated Grazkol only do so once, for they rarely survive contact with the warlord. The few fortunate enough to escape speak of raw power and armies beyond count, all guided by the same grand vision. Unlike other orcs, Grazkal has shown a remarkable ability to learn 
from his failures. With each fight, he grows stronger and more cunning. Over the years, he has refined his tactics, devising new strategies based on his observations in previous battles. More ominous still for his foes, Grazkol has developed the ability to experiment, to test out new concepts in order to better hone them. Whether the voices Grazkol hears in his head are truly those of Gork and Mork is unknown. What cannot be gainsaid, however, is that the canny orc appears to have some prescient ability. Time and again, the orc warlord appears in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. Grazkal has proven to be a master strategist with the greatest, the greatest of his kind. He outmaneuvers his enemies, steamrolling over their assaults and sidestepping their carefully laid traps, as if anticipating them in advance. In his lengthy campaigns, Grazkull has shown to be a masterful organizer whose prepared assaults rival the meticulous battle plans of even the Astra Militarum. However, there is nothing of the hidebound tactician in Grazkull, for he is an innovator and a cunning opportunist, ever ready to shift his troops to exploit any sudden weakness an opponent might present. And there are no fighters more brutal, more joyous in the act of crushing their foes than the raucous, battle-loving warriors of Wag Graskull. As some of the Imperium's foremost tactical minds have already learned, Graskull is their strategic match or more. But the news grows worse for those that would oppose the oncoming green wave. Grazkull's hordes are growing in number and skill. He is gathering under his sway not just mindless followers eager to do his bidding, but also mighty warlords who would, bat, who would not bow before any other in Orc's dominion, save for Grazkull. Confident in his own matchless superiority, Grazkull has avoided a common pitfall amongst his green skin kind, that of attempting to do everything himself. Other warlords feel they must always lead from the front, spearheading all attacks while keeping a watchful eye on their own lieutenants as they do upon their enemy. After all, it is a personal disaster for a warlord to be surpassed in deeds by any of his underlings. By contrast, Grazkull's authority is so absolute that he need not display such caution. Instead, he cunningly deploys his forces to where their talents are best used, exemplifying his age-old maxim, don't send a speed freak to do a dread mob's job. Due to Grazkal's strategic prowess, his ability to adapt, and the sheer force of his character, he now leads the largest force of greenskins seen in a millennia. This wag is poised not just to ravage a few planets or trample a SAR system or two. It is on a course to conquer the entire galaxy. And now they give you a quote from him. I'm the warlord Grazkul Mag Uruk Thraka, and I speak with the word of the gods. I am the prophet of the Wag, and the whole world's burn in my boot prints. Grazkul Thraka. Ha <laughs> ha. That's the opening prologue. And the rest I will read to you as we go on. Enjoy 